Hello, I'm Jeffrey Short. Well, here I am. I'm packing up for a change early in the morning. This is a Thursday morning. It's a yucky, gray, rainy morning here in Cleveland. But I'm packing up in the morning because I have to pack up, then go to work all day at Jerry Bruno Productions and try to book some other things. And then I have a corporate gig tonight. It's going to be a little bit easier, obviously, than a wedding. No formalities, no grand entrance. They just want some good music for the end of their three-day conference at this water park uh, here in Northeast Ohio. So I'm packing up this morning in the rain, going to work, and then gigging tonight. It's going to be a long day, but let's get it started. And I'm also kind of excited because this is the first gig that I actually get to use my new Stanley Fat Max three level toolbox that I've got all my cables and tools in and things like that. So we're gonna see how this thing holds up on this gig, but I'm excited about it. Well that's it, all loaded up, ready to go to work. Now I work full time as an agent and the sales and promotions manager at Jerry Bruno Productions. We're a multi-op music entertainment company here in Cleveland. We represent about 25 DJs, 23 bands, jazz music ensembles, classic music ensembles, anything to do with live music. So when our DJs are working for the company, including myself, we're essentially independent contractors, many of us, which means we have our own gear, we pack it up in our own transportation, our own trucks and SUVs and so forth, and we get out on the road. So it's not like we have, uh, it's not a company van with a company set of gear that people come and pick up and take to job sites. So it's a slightly different model, but you know, not unusual at all. Now, my main gig at Jerry Bruno Productions is I'm the band leader of one of our most popular bands called The Avenue. And that's what I do most Saturday nights, but some nights, like tonight is a Thursday night, off nights, I'm available to DJ. Off season Saturdays, I'm available to DJ. And uh, I, if, since I work full time in the office as an agent, promoting, marketing, selling our other DJs. It's so important for me to have that field experience and know what all of these DJs are going through out in the field. So uh, I love doing it, I'm happy to do it. I have my own gear and my own transportation. So I'm all packed up, ready to do this DJ gig tonight and uh, hope it goes well. Okay, so I am here at Kalahari Resort and Convention Center. I must be in the right place because I see lions. And whenever there's jungle stuff, that means we are at Kalahari. So. Here we go, we're going to pull around and load in and uh, see how fast we can get things set up. So I'm here on the grounds, I just have to look for the right place. And that means I'm looking for a huge tent. And clearly I don't have my seatbelt on. But I am within the parking lot, so I think I'm going to be safe. Played here with my band a couple times, so I am familiar with, and of course now I'm driving around in a circle because I got caught in a parking circle. I'm exactly right back where I started. Look. Lions. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try a different tactic this time. to make my way out to this outer road. All right, looks like I found the tent. Pretty hard to miss that. That's where we're set up tonight. So I'm going to see where I load in. Okay, so this is the place. It's a huge, I don't know, 9,000 square foot tent. Tonight is a corporate event for Travel Centers of America. I guess all of the corporate staff, store managers from all the travel centers all around the country are here 
for a three or four day conference tonight is the culmination of that so we're having a party in this tent they just want some good music um, you know and so I'm gonna set up and give it to them and uh, should be a pretty easy thing only a three hour gig tonight let's have some fun I've also been using these telelock stands for my 15 inch Mackie thumps I'm not sure how I like them. One of them slips a little bit already. I mean, I get the concept, but I might want to try the the Franken stands. Maybe give those a shot. Well, that's it. All set up, ready to go. Massive tent. Everything's ready to go. So, uh, let me show you a little bit about my rig that I got here tonight. Got the MacBook Pro happening with the mix deck. They're not really going to be dancing tonight. Um, I've got the Chauve Obey 10 controller controlling the 4 bar and the 4 play which are hooked together. So I can, uh, I can black those out, turn them on. Right now they're just running on an automatic program that I have, changing color. Got my spare computer. The venue has supplied this up lighting. It looks like these car cans all around the room, so you have this lit tent. But I have this other moonflower light that I'll use later. But again, I might not even plug that in because they're not really dancing tonight. So I'm just using one, one rack of lights like that. Of course, I do have my favorite little micro galaxian happening. So, and again, I've gaffed my, my wires as much as I can. The rest of them are hidden behind the Scrim Kings. Oh, except for that one. Thank you, Scrim King. Okay, so the gear is looking good. Now it's time for me to look good. Every contract we have to be set up no later than one hour ahead of our start time. Start time tonight is 9.30 and the time is... Can you dig it? Can you dig it? So I had over an hour to kill before the guests came in the room so I decided to peek in on the clients. They were in a really high profile awards ceremony. So, needless to say, I had some time to kill. Looks like they're gonna have some sweets tonight. Looks like a couple chocolate fountains are gonna happen. Got the rock theme going. A little bit of Lady Gaga. Elvis over there. DJ, I'm alone in the room right now. They've got these cool kind of lounges set up. I don't know what's gonna happen on those screens, but this whole thing is the wrap up to their three or four day conference that they've been at here at the resort. So, give them a little Thursday night party. So then it was just hurry up and wait for the guests to come in. That's what I'm talking about. Just playing some uh, classic rock tunes, some R&B. 
Easy gig. So we had all these people out on the dance floor, and the boss came to me and said, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but if you could slow it down and turn it down a little bit, we, we don't want to encourage people to dance. So one of those corporate things, so. Okay, so trying to find slow songs. Now it's Simple Man with Leonard Skinner. Just played Flower by Amos Lee. And I actually just had a request for Unchained Melody, so that'll work. But uh, I seriously feel like I'm in the Footloose movie right now, where dancing is sinful. Okay, strangest thing. The boss just came over and asked me to shut it down for like 10 minutes. No music. This guy does not want dancing. I'm not sure why, but they're the client, they're the boss, make them happy. Easy gig. But you know I'm going to go get some of those Oreos. You know that's right. <laughs> about it for this gig. Kind of a weird gig tonight. They did not want dancing. Actually, the guests didn't want dancing. The bosses didn't. You give the bosses what they want. You know, it's kind of a tough situation because you're the when you're the DJ and the client has specifically asked you to play slow, turn the volume down, do not encourage dancing, the guests kind of look at you like it's your fault. Like, why are you playing this? I had many people come up to me all night and say, why are you playing all old stuff? And you do kind of have to throw it back on the client and you do have to make the clients happy and give them what they want. And in the end, it paid off. He, he talked about hiring us again and he was asking for business cards and talked about how he was happy with our company. So, you know, a Thursday night gig. Corporate things are kind of weird sometimes. People don't want to let loose all the way. So you make the client happy and hopefully you get another booking out of it. I'm out of here, I'm all packed up and ready to hit the road, so that's what I'm going to do, we'll see you next time.